Hello everybody, my name is Tom. This is Southpaw Workshop. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to unbox, install, and test out this ceiling fan. One of the most interesting features about this ceiling fan is that when the fan portion is not being used, the fan blades retract back into the light. So if you're interested in checking this out, stick around. Big thanks to DL Lighting for providing this ceiling fan for me to test out. If you are interested in checking out what they have to offer, I'll provide an Amazon affiliate link down in the description box below. Now on to the review.
Overall, this was a very easy ceiling fan to install. Keep in mind, I was replacing an existing ceiling fan, so all the wiring and the electric box was already in place. And also, I've installed my fair share of ceiling fans in the past, and so this isn't my first trip around the block. The instructions are very rudimentary, but the wires are labeled, and so the labeling of the wires really helps out, helps guide you what wires attached to what wires. Some of the complaints I saw online was that that people installing this ceiling fan weren't able to wire their lights into the switch, the wall switch. And you can do it, you just have to bypass the remote. So you have to choose between controlling the lights with the remote or controlling the lights with the wall switch. Regardless, the fan can only be controlled with the remote. One thing to keep in mind is that the, all the wires are labeled, but the, they're not translated very well, so you should be able to interpret what they're trying to say. For example, the hot wire is called the fire wire, and I think that's just something that was lost in translation. I really have no complaints about the installation or the operation of the ceiling fan. This is a modern farmhouse style and nothing in my house is modern farmhouse and so it's a little out of place in my dining room but I do plan on keeping it installed until I eventually remodel this dining room area. The exposed light bulbs are very bright and you will get spots in your eyes if you look directly at them but it does do a really good job of lighting up the room. And of course my favorite part about this whole thing is the way that the fan blades retract and so it looks just like a normal hanging light fixture when you, the fan is not in use and then as soon as you push the button the fan blades pop out and they uh, it turns into a ceiling fan. The only real gripe I have about this unit is that I wish there was a way to install it flush to the ceiling or closer to the ceiling than it already is. My ceilings are only eight foot high and I'm not in danger of running into that because it is high up enough. As you can see above the light here it leaves a really big shadow on the ceiling. Couple that with the brightness of the lights and I feel like it would really benefit me to have that whole fixture up as close to the ceiling as possible. Those are minor complaints. Like I said, the, the, build, the build quality and the construction is great. The installation is straightforward. The remote is nice. The design is great if this is what you're looking for. And those retractable fan blades are awesome. If you're interested in getting your own DLLT ceiling fan, I'll provide a link down in the description below. Click on that link and you can get more information and find out how you can purchase your own. Thanks everybody for watching the video to this point. Once again, my name is Tom. This is Southpaw Workshop. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.